Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to read y'all a really sweet book called Strictly No Elephants written by Lisa Manchev and illustrated by T. Yun Yu. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never really quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. See all the other friends with like their cats and dogs. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. He is very thoughtful sort of walk. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do, lift each other over the cracks. Look at him picking him up. I bet he's super duper heavy. Today, I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. Come along, that's a good boy. I coax him over the last few feet. It'll be fine. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. Hmm. Strictly no elephants. <gasps> My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding over the cracks. That's what friends do, brave the scary things for you. Uh -huh. You're walking in the rain, all sad. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asked. Yes, I say, they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl said, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? Hmm. Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me, because that's what friends do. Never leave anyone behind. Look at them all gathering everybody up that have like cool elephants. They have an elephant, they have a giraffe, like they have a armadillo. We got a little fish right here. We can play here, one of our new friends says all of us so we paint our new sign all are welcome look at the skunk on the roof my tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them because that's what friends do the end. I hope you liked it, boys and girls. I love this story. I think it's so sweet. I'll see you guys next time.